Hey guys, I here bringing you another video. This is episode four, I think, of the unranked or the the gold the gold to platinum series. I always get that confused. Um, today, I don't know what I'm playing yet because we're in champion select. Uh, there will be an annotation around the video if you do want to skip straight to the uh, lol nexus screen and loading screen that I normally skip it to. But I'm either top or jungle. Uh, I've asked for top, but another guy did ask for top as well, so we'll have to see. Honestly, if I get it, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try have a fun game. I am using my new mouse, the new Corsair Vengeance uh, M65, as I kind of thought, I don't need like 18 buttons on my Naga to play League, so I'm going to try it out with the new mouse. If I'm not used to it, and I'm like, ah, this is awful, I'll swap during the game, because they're both plugged in right now. Um, but I think I'll be okay. Um, I honestly am in the mood... Ooh, what am I in the mood for, though? I'm kind this of in the mood to play Aatrox. This will be my masterpiece. Um, I'm going to change this, though. I'll go. I will go tanky. Um. Get some masteries in here. I should know my masteries off by heart now, but um, I don't. <laughs> just did the Aatrox guide, and for those who are wondering, Aatrox the guide is coming out in the next couple of days. Just it's it's finished. I'm just having problems actually getting it rendered um, because Sony Vegas is being a knob. All right, what am I against? I want Mecha so bad. Oh, Mundo. Okay. That's interesting. <coughs> Wish I picked uh, Gragas now that he's locked in Mundo, but whatever. We'll, be, we'll, be, we'll do fine. Uh, seeing that, I'm probably not going to... Ooh, I will kill you. Okay, new masteries. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, should I just go 921? Yeah, I'll just go 921. It kind of, if we, you know, we do have a Kha'Zix in the jungle and that, it gives us a little bit more tanky options, I guess. We'll be going Blade of the Ruin King into Randuins as a normal build. Um, Fiddle support, I presume that is. That's interesting. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Fiddle support. Bum, ba -dum, bum. So this guy, this guy, this you got dropped guy is panicking too much. Like, just calm down. Anything works in solo queue. A any awful picks work in solo queue. You don't need an LCS comp to win. So, yeah. He just needs to calm it down a little bit. And let's go on the old lol nexus. Do, 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 do. So, welcome if you did skip the uh, bit that I kind of said. Uh, this is Lil Nexus. This is kind of giving you an indication of where we are on who we're playing against. So as you can see, I'm still... Uh, let me see. You can, you can see this. Yeah. I'm still gold 5, 72 points. And we're against gold 3s, gold 2s. We've got a plat on our team. So I've got pretty damn high MMR for a gold 5. But that's fine. Honestly, I kind of expect that. You know, I'm a, at 12 wins, 4 losses, which... Eh, I, a couple of them losses probably could have been um, wins, but whatever. But from now on, people have been in the comment sections of videos, etc. Have been kind of saying, uh, why don't I record all the videos? Why don't I, uh, you know, upload every single one? Because honestly, I don't want like a 50 video series. And if some of you go like, oh, well, what's the deal? Well, why not? It just takes so long. I don't want my channel to turn into literally a only like gold to plat, you know, smurf series. I do want other things on the channel. Um, and th by the amount I play compared to how often I can upload, I'd always be behind and there would be videos that I actually record that will be out of date if I like do a proper upload schedule. So yeah, I just practically can't do every single one. Uh, but yeah, we're playing Aatrox this game. One of my, you could probably call it signature champions, uh, in top lane. I do love this guy a lot. 
And uh, I do know the ins and outs on him, hence why I'm making a guide. We are going to go Doran's Blade, because I like going toe-to-toe -to with um, Aurelia's. But yeah. So this mal... Uh, these people. Like, first thing, whatever person was last season, ignore it. Like, it's last season. Like, borders mean nothing. It's all about current season. If the, the Kha'Zix has got gold 2, that means he plays to a gold 2 level. Uh, stop, lol. Last season. Last season. In the prison. There's Aurelia. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So, already, you know, like... If you're someone at, um, like, this Malzahar... Like, this Malzahar is not helping anything right now. He's just bringing the team atmosphere down, which is just dumb. Like, as people have, like, commented in videos and that is, like... Um, I may moan about teammates, but one thing I won't do... I won't type and moan at them. They can't hear what I'm saying right now, and I will never purely moan at a teammate in chat that just brings the team morale down me speaking to you guys or me speaking out loud if i'm not recording that literally doesn't affect them at all they don't know what i'm saying so it's a big difference like this malzahar obviously is someone that likes to voice their opinion and i probably would call this guy an idiot um but i'm not gonna say it in game because that would just cause drama honestly let's go and like surround it Okay, Aurelia's in his somewhere. Really? You just missed? She wanted to get the red. Oh, come on. Thank you. I'm going to base. So that is first blood on Aurelia. Like, I don't know what she was doing. She was trying to get the red buff, I think. Dumb idea, but yeah. Um, that's not bad. So now use the teleport to get into lane. It's sad that Aurelia, in a way, hasn't uh, hasn't got Ignite. Uh, because, yeah, she just TP'd and she's really not going to lose anything. Um, both of us burnt both summoners. So, yeah, it's this lane, apart from two health potions, is pretty much even right now. Um, so, yeah. First blood, at least, for Mal, so he should be able to use that advantage for something. But again, he did use both summoners. So against the Syndra, I think he's against the Syndra. He has to be pretty damn careful. Ba-bum. Ba-bum. But that's why I always rush toward this bush over here. It's such an important bush because if people are going for red invade early, pretty much spots them out every single time. Okay. Nice. Got a nice poke on her or like have a little health advantage. The only thing with if you keep Aurelia at a low health, you really do have to be careful of jungle ganks because obviously you're giving her the stun. That's basically what you're doing if you keep her at a lower health than you. You're giving her the stun compared to, you know, her. Oh, that was bad. That, that was a really easy W to hit and a uh, bit worrying that uh, he missed it. But what, what can you do? Got to be careful that Vi is going to come top. But Kha'Zix, you can see on the mini map, that's kind of where I'm looking. He's in the vicinity of top, but he's not directly here. He's doing double golems. Um, CS-wise, I'm ahead of Aurelia. But yeah, this is why Max... Oh my god. I was going to say, this is why Max and E's so good last hit, and then I miss. By like, six health. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to be a little careful, as mentioned. My ward has run out in river. Uh, but the lane is pushing in my favour. Like, this is the stage that you don't want to press uh, E because it would push back. Okay. Vi, I think, has a heavy presence in mid lane right now. Um, don't know why. Like, Syndra pretty much wins that matchup one-on-one -on -one anyway. If I was this Vi, I'd focus bot lane. Purely and simple because there's a Fiddlesticks. Like, Fiddlesticks isn't played in the meta right now for a specific reason. Okay, she just gave me a kill. I don't know why she did that. 
Um, yeah, now that's a kill for me. Sorry if I go quiet during kills. Like sometimes, like I'm just thinking about what I'm doing. As obviously these are live, as always mentioned. Um, but yeah, I don't know what this like. I honestly, like I always say, I oh I have said in the past series, I don't really think this really plays top lane a lot, or she doesn't really know exactly what she's doing, because going toe to toe with a Aatrox when his passive is up. It's not going to go in your favour, like, literally. Very little things actually beat Aatrox in a one-on-one, -on -one, toe toe-to-toe fight early on. Simply because it's passive. Your, his passive will give, like, if I had the full passive bar from auto-attacking things, etc., I'd have a bonus 255 health on top of the health I have right now. So, in effect, I have, like, 1,300 health compared to Aurelia's 1,000. So... And plus, I have, obviously, a very good lifesteal and all that type of thing. So, I am now le nearly level 6. So as soon as I hit level 6, I'm going to go all in on this Aurelia. Because obviously I have got an item advantage as well as uh, XP advantage. But there are a lot of minions here right now. So I do have to be a little bit careful. She just has hit level 5. We're one minion away from dinging. So what to notice when you're one minion away. Go right close up to her. Oh, that's close. I kept my passive, which is good, though. So push the wave as quick as possible. Uh, probably can tower dive her again. If like I couldn't tower dive it if I lost my passive, but obviously I kept it, so that's kind of a tick in that box. Okay, I can't tower dive her yet. If she takes a little bit more damage, then I can. Going to ward over here because, you know, it's a pretty good ward placement. Stand next to my minions because if she... Oh, God, I missed. That was really bad of me. Generally, you don't want to miss that type of uh, E because they're the free E's. Mid lane, they did get a kill as well on um, Syndra, which is good. Okay, that tower die or that tower hit was not wanted either, but we are winning the lane quite significantly. Like she's not level six yet, and I'm level um, seven, and now she's level six. So I'm literally one level ahead. So that is pretty much what my XP lead equates to at the moment. Obviously, she will start catching as the level boundaries kind of get smaller and smaller and smaller. That's how people kind of catch. Um, but yeah. Do -do -do. Like, she might be dead soon-ish. But if I was her, I'd actually ultimate and just keep my health fairly high. Do my ultimate in 10 seconds. If she stays in the area when I have ult up, then then she's probably dead. I'm fine. Unless Vi is like literally around the corner. But yeah, we're winning this top lane fairly easily. She does have TP. Okay, there's Vi. Got her. Damn, I did die, but I did kill her. So, you know, I did get quite a bit of gold. The red buff now is off the map. So, I'd say worth it for me. It was risking me going like that. If I didn't get the kill, that would have been bad. But I did get it. So, that is furthering my strength. Going to call missing on Aurelia right now. Gonna probably think what I'm doing. Probably get that. Aurelia is not top lane yet. Kazix could technically go for the enemy blue. Gonna buy one attack speed item there. And I'm just gonna teleport to top. Aurelia has teleport up, so I do have to be careful of her teleporting away. But we should be all fine and dandy, honestly. Okay, forced ultimate, that's not bad. I can regen all my health back from this wave. She has just done a normal ward in there, so now I know it's warded. Unfortunately, I missed the cannon. That isn't great, but whatever. Keep farming. So now I'm full health. Like This is the strength of Aatrox. You can duel somebody... Go down really low. Okay, I don't need to ward right you now because you can see Vi's in mid lane. Um, but you can go down really low health. And then if you get the wave under your tower, bingo bango, you can go back to full health pretty damn quick. 
So, Kazix. Ooh, nice Kazix play. Okay, why did I ward? Derp moment by me. Why did I ward when the jungler just got killed? Don't know. Uh, don't do that. <clears throat> don't follow in all my footsteps. Um... Ah, that missed. So I, I'm missing a little bit too much of my uh, ease than I'd probably prefer. My team can probably look to do Dragon soon. Um, they've got quite a bit of strength. Malzahar's 2-0. Uh, well, I didn't realise the score is actually 6-1. But in a, then again, I'm 3-1 and I'm the only death on my team. There's Syndra. So she knows straight away that it's warded. No point her staying top lane. Uh, Malz will probably kill her. Oh my god, that actually, like, missed. Okay, now, basically, okay, strengths of Aatrox again. So you go low health, you do a little duel. In a couple of minions, I'm going to be full health. Oh, well, that hit. That was actually really nice. That wasn't bad play by her, but she's still dead. Yeah. Well, Syndra was like, this Ma I don't like this Mal's. Like, he's very panicky, and he BM'd the Kha'Zix at the start. Well, they just got absolutely wrecked. Damn. Have they updated Fiddlesticks, like, ult or something? Because that looked pretty damn cool. Um, wait, I didn't buy an attack speed item? Oops. I thought I did. So Syndra's top lane now, apparently. Uh, maybe they're swapping lanes... Who knows? Um, but yeah, 3-1-2. Not a bad score. 89 CS compared to Aurelia's 68. So I am winning in that department as well. Tied highest CS in the game with Lucian. I will take that crown because he's actually dead right now. Uh, but yeah, this game is going fairly well for us. Our late game is actually very good. You know, Fiddlesticks as a support in lane is actually very weak. Late game is actually very strong. So if they're winning the lane phase somehow, then... Yeah, we're just going to get stronger. Aatrox is very strong late game when you get ahead. And obviously we are ahead. Uh, Aurelia obviously is, is again, a late game champion. But um, definitely Aatrox is one of the strongest champions against her. So Kha'Zix is dead. And Aurelia got the kill. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, well. She can't really be in top lane, though, much anymore. So I'm going to get top tower for free right now. I don't really know... Well, I, nobody's here, and I do have teleport in 20 seconds. Oh, my team have to be careful. I do have all, uh, teleport in 15, so I will look for teleport opportunity. Once it's... Oh, hello. I'm on my way. Oh, I survived. Mal's died by tower. <laughs> so, oh my god. How do you die by tower? Oh well. So we get... Oh my god, she stopped me in midair. Oh! Let's do... We could do that for free. Actually, I'm going to base and I've got teleport in case. But basically, I flashed a Q onto the Syndra and she QE'd at the same time. I don't think it was intentional, but, like, it did stop me. So, yeah, that was <laughs> that's quite funny. But, um, honestly, I'm not going to leave base right now because I want to get a chain vest. If I can hold out in base, like, I can teleport if needed. Um, but if I can hold out in base while they're doing it, then I can afford the chain vest before... I actually have to run away. There you go. Got the chain vest. Buy some health potions and then run back to top lane. Going to push this out. Tracked Aurelia maybe back top lane. I do have to be careful because my passive is now down. But I should be okay. Ugh. But yeah, this game's going okay. <clears throat> Syndra is top lane for some reason. Uh, she's going Athene Syndra. So it's pretty much standard. Okay, she's going to push it quite quick. So I won't do a camp. <clears throat> okay. So Aurelia could be around. I have no idea where she is. But this is quite a lot of CS for good old Aatrox. I can kill the Syndra fairly quickly. Mal's is coming top. But I think Syndra will be gone by the time Mal's comes. So there we go. There's that wave. P 
put it over now to the damage W because once you have Blade of the Rune King, the damage output that you can do, uh, basically Blade of the Rune King will sustain it. So you basically lose no health and you get extra damage. So why not at the end of the day? Have to be slightly careful. So Vi's in there. Okay, there's, there's Aurelia. Oh god, you're dead. My bot lane is making plays, but that was a bit derpy by Kha'Zix. Like, walking into the enemy jungle with no vision would not recommend. My team is getting a kill, and they are getting a tier 2 turret. So, silver linings in every cloud, I guess. I'm going to shut my window, because I hear a wood pigeon again. I'm going to shoot this thing with a gun. Anyway, let Aurelia push, and then fight her. My neck is actually hurting me a bit, so if you're wondering why I'm holding it every now and then, that probably is why. But I can definitely kill her one-on-one. -on -one. She doesn't have Blade of the Ruin King finished, and I also have a chain vest on top of it, so hello. Yeah, you know you're dead. Why did you flash? And you're dead. I think my team overstayed and they just got killed. So there's a kill. And not where another kill for me. One on one on Aurelia. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, not bad. Hopefully I can push this quick enough and I might be able to get myself uh, a tier 2. If I'm lucky. If nobody comes as, as well. Not many minions though. The wave is starting to come in now. But I'm not going to probably be able to do enough damage until the next minion wave. And by then... Someone, there you go, Nami, it has arrived. My passive is up in 15 seconds as well. So I'm going to leave. Like, I don't have vision on Vi. Mouse is probably going to kill that MF. Let's watch it and, like, go, ooh, ooh. She's dead. Cool. So my next item that I'm building is the Randuin's Omen. It's uh, obviously a counter item to Aurelia. Attack speed less, etc. And especially if Vi starts to come top a little bit more. I doubt she will, but if she does... It's obviously also a counter to her. So I can afford the Warden's Mail and I also can buy the Giant's Belt. Sell the, the pots now because honestly the amount of health that they give back is not going to be a much now that I have a Giant's Belt. In comparison to obviously my health, they only give 100 odd. So I'm going to run up to top lane. Not going to TP. Even though my tower may take a little bit of damage, my tower is still full, full health. Um, and having the teleport available is much more worth than having like a tiny bit less uh, tower health or something like that. So missing, they're probably gonna kill Vi, I would imagine. Or not, they like just got owned. Oh my God, just hit her. I need a ward or something. And teleport into his bug. Have malaria. Okay, that should go on the Nami and that should kill the Nami. Will it? She might heal though. I had nothing to TP2, really. I'm gonna leave. Why are you doing this, Vi? Cool, free kill for us. Like, this mouse, I'm reporting this mouse no matter what. She's just an annoying little, like, kid. Ugh. These people really do get up my, uh, whatever. You, may, you probably can tell that. Because normally I'm little, like a lot more chilled out than this, but these people really do annoy me. They think they're really good. And ugh. Just annoying. Buy the Negatron Cloak. Gonna start working into the Spirit Visage. As as you'll see in the guide, there's the three core items there. Your Spirit Visage, uh, the Branduins, and the Blade of the Ruined King. All are amazing on Aatrox. So I'm gonna run over to mid lane, try and protect it alongside my... Uh, Friends, I guess, if you want to call them that. Um, nice damage by Mal's. Like, he is fairly strong, which is good. 
Um, keep moving, moving, moving. I'm not going to be able to catch. I'm going to go top plane though. Probably be able to kill her. Yeah, she knows I'm coming now, but I'm going to go for the kill. Swap it to damage form. She's probably going to try and TP away. Okay, she's gone. I don't know if she went there. Or where did she go? No idea. Okay, she is back in base, so she managed to get the base off before. I could get there, unfortunately, but I'm going to split push top lane, um, create, create some pressure. Hopefully my team get out of there alive. If they can stall the enemy team enough, I can probably get a tier 2 top lane. They actually get a kill, so yeah, I'm going to get a tier 2 top. They do die, though. Mal's is waiting for somebody to kind of... Oh. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Damn, that Vi is actually pretty strong as well, notably. So, is that up? Yeah, it is. Don't know what Aurelia is doing right now. Like, she's chasing that hard for one kill. Like, honestly. She's dead. Wonder if Kazix will let me have this. Well, I'm taking it anyway. <laughs> cool. And three, two, one. Retarded system of stupid timers. You can tell I'm not a fan. Ugh. Why did Riot do that? It's basically this whole system. I was tempted to make a video on it, but this whole system is promoting being lazy and it's rewarding people being lazy because yeah there's been youtubers saying yeah timing wasn't hard no it's not hard it's just if you were lazy and couldn't be bothered to do it then you're putting yourself at a disadvantage now right are rewarding them lazy people which is quite annoying they're gonna get a kill on cinder nice and easy so Mal's is actually legendary didn't realize that still a knob as a person but he's legendary um, okay, keep farming. So I would imagine this game will probably be over soon. Um, been an okay game. So, yeah. I don't know why people would report the Aurelia. Like, she did a couple of weird things, true. But not a reportable offence. Unless she's been obviously toxic in her chat. That obviously I can't see. Um, which, you know, who knows. It's going to keep pushing top lane i i actually haven't really like left top lane most of the game but that's fine some games you just chill out in the top lane and be annoying like it's really annoying as like a team fight top lane and when you're like i'm gonna join my team in team fight and then the enemy top lane is like now nah, i'm still top pushing come and stop me it's hella annoying boom he's dead Boom, boom, boom. See you. See, I'm pretty damn strong right now. Uh. I, I was annoying that I had to flash then. I thought MF would die, but yeah. Sometimes it just, you don't get the kill, unfortunately. And now I'm pushing the top lane turret. I have no idea that, what that says. So if you speak that language, knock yourselves out. Tell me what it says in the comments. That bubble was really bad. Oh, MF wants revenge. Let's 
See you. I know there's a wood around there, so not gonna stay anymore. Rally is coming, and like before, she chases for like a mile. So I'm gonna run to my team, because if she runs to me, then she's dead. Do 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 do. Gonna base though. Oh, I'm not feeling 100% right now as well, which isn't good, but I shall soldier on. This game should be over fairly soon. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep the TP. I don't honestly need to TP it, TP unless I really need to. And generally at this time, you don't want to TP back to lane. Generally, you want to go uh, to your lane and then TP to a team fight uh, at this stage because, yeah, that's generally what happens. I said that word too much, but let's go to top lane. Aurelia is on 178 CS, I'm on 201. She's two set well, she actually has them, not very good. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend, in this matchup specifically, or on most matchups in Aurelia, a lot of people build Bork. Don't do that. Bork, I've done a lot of experiments. I've done both the builds. I've done it, you know, I know what's good, what's bad. Um, Bork is just not great on Aurelia. Like, it's a good item, it sounds good on her. But in an actual game situation, just going rushing Triforce is usually just a better option. It just gives you more damage. Um, so if my team are looking to do Baron, I think, and then team fight and end, I suppose. So push that. Oh boy. Okay, they used everything on Fiddle. Wow. Okay, I'm dead. Whatever, that's worth. My team will literally just kill everything. Ooh, it's health! That was close. And bonk. Mm -hmm -hmm. So I went a bit ballsy that I didn't have my passive. Like, you can tell, like, when Aatrox has his passive up and he's, like, this strong, there's not much he can do because he'll be doing a lot of damage. He's quite tanky. And when his passive is up, he'll just come back alive if you all in him. But the enemy team basically used Vile on Fiddlesticks. They used Syndrome on Fiddlesticks. That's just... Don't do that. Like, <laughs> it's a support, you know. There's a reason why... He's... Oh, that was a nice play. He did a nice duke. So this is the point of the build, and you'll see in the guide that you can do anything you want. You've got your three core items, so it's up to you. And I'm going to go a Hydra. I'm going to have more split push, split push quicker, more damage, more lifesteal. It's just a good item again for Aatrox. And now I'm going to go bot lane. My team want to do Baron, so I'm going to go bot lane, pressure that. If Aurelia comes, I can probably kill a 1v1. Uh, even if two people come, I may be able to 2v1. My passive is up in five seconds. I'm a spit bot when I get pressure. Oh, uh, you can do Baron. So hopefully they do wait until I have pressure. Like if I kill Aurelia and then I'm like near the enemy base, then hey ho, they can do it. But hello, how are you doing? Right, they should go there like right now. Oh, go, 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 go. I'm fine with dying. Boom, they get Baron. My blade didn't go off, which is quite weird, but whatever. And boom. Okay, that works. A bait for a Baron, or a death for a Baron. It is sad that my passive did come up before I died, because... Yeah, I was dead then any situation. I would have preferred to save the passive, but oh well. I'm gonna sell my last Shall I sell my Dark Last Friends Blade? Not yet. My team can barrel down mid, and I also have teleport when I'm up, and I'll have ultimate when I'm back up, so I can jump in. Fiddlesticks is okay, I thought he was gonna wait around the corner, but he's not. Don't know why Kazix isn't with the team right now, but they're gonna get an inhib anyway. They're also probably going to get in top in here. Um, no idea where the enemy team are. There's MF. They're all alive somewhere. But um, who knows where. Okay, I'm coming. Kill everything. Oh! She did it again. I queued and 
It stopped me midair. Okay, we can finish the game. Oh boy. Whoa. Okay, this way we can finish the game. Ugh. But yeah, this has been Aatrox Top Lane, a fairly good game. Uh, I'm going to start recording more of these games because people do want to see more, so I'll start recording them more often than not. Um, but yeah, this has been episode four, I think. So anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Aatrox Top Lane, and I'll see you in episode five. So anyway, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time. Well, goodbye.